you ready? Gonna get straight into this, man. I know this is, uh, I'm a little bit late to this, and um, the song is called Let the Story Begin, Palo Alto, man. Obviously, I first, um, I first got notified of this because of you guys when, um, was it um, Palo Alto kind of like resigned as the CEO of Highlight Records, you know what I'm saying? Because he wanted to concentrate more on the music and his personal life or whatever. So that's how I first heard it because y'all have been DMing me and bombarding me about this. And then I kind of saw it on Palo Alto's Instagram as well, you know what I'm saying? And it said that he kind of like, I should say, he kind of like captures what he thinks about it in this song. So it, there was there was no way that I was going to, you know what I'm saying, skip the song. And the song's called Let the Story Begin and I want to hear all about it it seems like a pretty short song but anyway man shout out to palo alto man you already <laughs> let's go <sighs> all right hopefully my lighting isn't too fun my camera man is tripping but anyway let's go <clears throat> okay it's like a business card <clears throat> Mm, the first bar, I'm sorry. And the past and present, I'm not afraid of the future, man. This guy is X-Men. He's everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Wow, he said I, I I was he said I got goosebumps from the cold feelings or whatever. I have goosebumps right now, man, all the way down to my toes. He's he said the money coming in his bank account, but he hurt the ones I love, and that is my wealth. He said, right? Like, wow, man, you can I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, or maybe it's the instruments that's accompanying his voice, whatever it is. But it almost seems like you could feel that sincerity, but at the same time, that tinge of pain in his voice right now. Go back. That's the OG shit right there, you feel me? That's the, this is a pioneer mentality right here. Go back. Just listen to what he said. This path may be the guideline to shine someone else's future. He's saying what I'm doing now, leaving what I have for 10 years, what I have built from the ground up, all the frustrations, all the failures, all the success, all the pain, everything that I've gone through. He's saying I see a new path and I'm going to set off to it. You know what I'm saying? And he's saying I hope my actions right now will also shine upon someone else's future when they're having a dilemma about changing paths or whatever. You feel me? Like that is a pioneer move. He's only an OG and a pioneer and, and, and just who he is as a person because he has taken risks before he has pursued paths that no one else has before you feel me and that is why i love this motherfucker man i <clears throat> go back <laughs> I caught that rhyme as well, man. I just, I, I peeped that, uh, that, that rhyme was crazy on that line. Go back. So I do know, like, I'm, as much as I'm a fan of Palo Alto, I'm not fully versed in all of his beefs and, and his controversies and legal problems and stuff. I know he had, um, you know what I'm saying, some problems with a couple of his ex, you know what I'm saying, um, label mates. Uh, I don't know if it's Kite, but I know Be Free, obviously, you feel me? And um, something about Simba as well, and you know what I'm saying? But, they, I mean, he hashed it all out and it's all good now, but I think he's touching upon... Like some of the troubles he had in the past. Wow. 
뭔가의 성과를 위해 좀더 목소리 키웠던 게 너만의 관계를 불편하게 해도 성숙히 견뎌내 여긴 왜 사고 넌더 나은 곳을 갈 수도 강요할 순 없지 함께 우리 끝까지 가는 것 서로가 할수 있는 최선을 다해서 한대도 만족이 안 되면 결국 우린 다른 길갈 거고 이런 얘기 차가운 게 아니야 reality Speak that shit, man. Speak that shit. That's truth right there. He's talking about the difficulty between like him totaling lines between being a businessman and being a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like because he has to fulfill the terms of the contract that he has given his new label mate. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? He's his friend as well. But he's saying friendship doesn't reap results or whatever he was talking about before. And he's talking about the difficulty between the two. You feel me? Because he's a businessman. If it doesn't bring results, he's gonna be looked upon as incompetent. But at the same time, he has his friendship to keep as well. So. Man, and he's talking about he had to write up terms and contracts and if you're not a business person before, you know what I'm saying, and you're doing all this from, from, from the ground up and you've never done it and just starting something as big as Highlight Records and becoming this famous, man, how can you not respect this man? How can you not respect what he has built? How can you not respect what he stands for? How can you not respect his work ethic and his values and morals? Like, I do not understand y'all. If you're hating on Palo Alto, I don't give a fuck if it's personal or it's because of public opinion, man. You got it shit twisted. Like, Palo Alto is an OG for me, man. <laughs> This is what I was talking about. Always a tug of war between my creative living and survival. That is fire, man. That's fire. Uh, uh, wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Man, you. Why are you trying? Why why are you trying him, man? Just stop that shit, man. Go back. That's just so fire. I love the verse. I love how he has kind of. I, I love how he's composed his lyrics here. Verse one, verse two, kind of is like a linear progression of his struggles, what he's been through in the past ten years, and all these different struggles and shit that people didn't know about. He's bringing to the light. And number three, he's saying, but look, even amidst all this shit, I have one in a row. Uh, amidst all this all this business, you know what I'm saying, shit, all this cold-hearted shit, all the confusion, he's saying, I came out on top of it, you feel me? And that is just some, pff, that's just goosebumps, man. <laughs> I, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, dude? Gotta bow down to this motherfucker, man. This motherfucker's just, just too much, man. Just, he's so sincere, man. Talking about why are you trying to try me when all I stood for is love. And obviously, people in miscommunication, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, obviously, their personal things, their politics, their things, their nuances and, and arguments and disagreements and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, what he stands for and who he is, man, is something that I can completely get behind. And yeah, man, this guy is just, as I said, I've always talked to Palo Alto as, you know what I'm saying, an OG, which he is. I've always talked to uh, about him as he's a pioneer, which he is, because he's built this shit, man. He has, he, you cannot deny the fact what he's done for Korean hip hop, you feel me? Like, even me, as an outside person looking in, I can see that. So if y'all are inside and can't see that shit, I don't know what's wrong with you, you feel me? And, and Palo, man, again. <laughs> I'm sure obviously he's gonna continue to make music. He's just stepping down as a CEO, so it's not a big deal. He's not disappearing or you know what I'm saying, going into exile or whatever. But we have to commend him, man. We have to recognize 
recognize, give him, you know what I'm saying? Give him credit where credit is due. That's all I'm saying. Give him the respect because that's what, you know what I'm saying? He's deserved all these years over the past 10 years and that's a long time, man. He's been putting in hard work after hard work behind the scenes that we don't get to see, you feel me? We only get to see what the tabloids are saying, what the news media outlets are saying, you know what I'm saying? What the rumors are, but we don't really get to see what's real behind, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes. And he's given us a glimpse of that in this um, song, Let the Story Begin. So again, shouts out, man, to Palo Alto. This is it for today, man. Keep liking, subscribing, all that good shit, man. We up.